Is it time to press the reset button on your life? I'm Dr. Kyra, an expert in holistic well-being, and I would like to share with you the many ways you can create a life of vitality, peace of mind, and light-hearted fun. Welcome to my show. I'm delighted you're here. It's episode one of the Dr. Kyra Show Morning Edition. Have you ever had the intention to create a new healthy habit in your life, but just could not get yourself to stick to it? Or if you're like me, the question isn't if, it is how many times has that happened? So, dears, I know how it goes. We have inertia to overcome when we want to change our lives, or we want to start something new. So, before you launch into my other episodes of the Dr. Kyra Morning Edition, where you're really going to be actually doing a healthy morning routine, first we need to address what is that energetic shift we need to do that's going to actually get you on board with this change that you are now living in a new way. Isn't that the challenge? Let's talk about the concept of inertia. We're going to go back to physics class in school. Sorry about that. But there's two things, inertia and momentum. So what is inertia? I'm going to actually read a definition for you here so we can get on board about what this is. Here's a few ways of defining inertia. It's a tendency to do nothing or to remain unchanged. It's the property of matter by which it continues in its existing state. Here's what I like best is this definition. Inertia is the resistance of any object to change in its state. And that includes anything. Changes in its speed, its direction. So inertia is resistance when we're talking about this in regard to our own behavior. Sometimes people talk about motivation or momentum. Well, momentum isn't part of this definition until the change overcoming the inertia has already happened. Then you have momentum and movement that you can use that energy to continue the energy. That's momentum. Motivation is some type of external force that is creating the momentum. Well. I don't know about you, but motivation has always been something that I personally have struggled with because it really isn't a matter of some external force or someone else's opinion, in in other words, or someone else's words. This motivation doesn't truly affect my inertia. So I'd like you to think for a moment right now about Let's just be honest. It's okay. We have inertia. Uh, And I like to talk about this in regard to the science of it, the physics of it. Inertia affects everything. So, of course, it affects us and our behavior. Don't feel bad about it. This is the way the world works. Let's define it one more time. Inertia is the resistance of any object to any change in its state of being. So let's not fight against that or believe that there's something wrong with us because we have this inertia. What it's about is finding a workaround, something that is going to free us up to then be able to move in the new direction. And I'm going to teach you that in just a few moments. First, I'd like you to think about this inertia. Where is it happening in your life? What is it that you have been wanting to change? Hasn't been changing. Perhaps it's uh, eating more healthy, or maybe it's making sure that you're more productive during the day so that then you can have better control of your work schedule and end work on time and it doesn't trickle into your evening. Where is that inertia interfering? so that you aren't making these changes that you would like to change. And just being honest about it. 
what I'm going to do now is lead you through a guided meditation. We're going to think about the inertia like an anchor from a boat. So when the boat is anchored, it's not going anywhere. Even if it's on a, a river where there's a current, that boat is not going anywhere because it is anchored. Where are you anchored in your life right now? Let's not even get into why you put your anchor there and you know who might be <laughs> in charge of your anchor. Let's just keep it simple. Where are you anchored? Do you like where you are anchored in your life right now? Is it satisfying and fulfilling to you? Do you feel like it's in your best interests? Are you able to do the things that you want to do where you are anchored? If you are on a boat and it was anchored where you did not want to be, the fishing wasn't good in that area, uh, it, it was too sunny right there, or you, it wasn't the sightseeing that you wanted to do, you would pull up the anchor and you would go to a different area. So that's what we're going to do in our meditation. So what I'd like you to do is make sure you have no distractions right now. There is nothing else that you are involved in, nothing else that you are doing. You can put all your attention right now on this meditation, which is only going to take a few minutes. Sit with your back supported, your feet are flat on the floor, eyes closed, take in a nice deep breath, in and out. I'd like you to imagine yourself on a boat. Now, some of you might already be uh, boat aficionados, you might be fishermen or, or like to sail, so you already either own a boat or are familiar with being on a boat. So you can bring up whatever kind of boat you want right now. For those of you who aren't as comfortable with the water, maybe not as familiar with being on a boat, don't worry, I'm the same way. Just imagine a larger boat. I'm going to imagine a yacht. Yours might be something even a bit larger. But for yours, there's going to be other people, there's a crew, there's other people taking care of the boat. It's nice and stable, no problem. You can just be on the boat and enjoy it. So let's first just notice where this boat is anchored. Just look around first. What kind of body of water is this that it's on? Is it a river? Is it a lake? Is it the sea? Look around and just notice your surroundings. Look up in the sky. Is it cloudy or not? Where is the sun in the sky? To give you an idea of what time of day it is. What scenery do you see? Look down at the water. What color is it? Look down at yourself and notice what you're wearing. Now, tune into your sense of hearing. What do you hear there? Now, you're probably going to hear a bit of water lapping up against the boat. But what else do you hear? What are the sounds of nature there? Anything else you notice? Take in a nice deep breath now and just notice how it smells there. Now notice what you feel. You might feel the warmth of the sun on your skin. And perhaps there's something else that you can feel there. You might want to just go up to the edge of the boat, to the railing there, and feel that railing. What is it made of? If you're sitting on a smaller boat, it would just be feeling something else you have there. Something you're holding. And notice now the emotional feeling of what it's like to be there. You might even have conflicted feelings that you like being on the water, or you like your boat, but it's anchored, it's not moving. But notice the feeling of the water and how that, how that energy feels to you. 
So we've come up to the time where you're saying, all right, already, I would like to move my boat where I would like it to go. You know, if you're you're sailing, perhaps, that you know, you want your boat to move to sail. If you're fishing, you want to go where the fish are. If you're sightseeing, you want to go where the pretty sights are. So it's time to pull up that anchor. But when you go to it, or if you're on the boat where there's a crew, there's a noticing that the anchor seems a bit caught. Yeah, it's not letting up easily. This is common. It's not to worry. Sometimes it's just a matter of the angle of the anchor. Maybe it got caught up a bit on some rocks. Not to worry, this happens all the time. So if you are someone who's used to being on a boat, use whatever method you normally would to get this anchor out. Perhaps you know a trick or two where you would take the boat backwards or pull this chain and the rope back a bit to release the anchor. If you're on a larger boat, the crew is going to do that for you. And you're going to hear the chain from the anchor up against the boat. You're going to hear it pulling in. And if you're actually doing it, you're going to feel that release happen where the anchor has now released from the dirt or the sand at the bottom of the water. It's released and you feel that release. If someone else is doing it for you, you can you can feel the energy of how happy they are that this anchor has now released and you hear it being pulled in. So feel that. I'm going to give you just a moment to completely get that anchor all the way pulled in. You just feel that freedom that you have now that this boat can go anywhere you want it to go. Whether it's a small boat or a larger boat, this is your boat and it goes in the direction that you want it to go. So set your intention right now for where it is that you want it to go. Is it to more fun? Is it to more productivity? Is it for excitement? For energy? Or for just relaxing? To be more just you right here, right now? And your boat starts to move. You take it. Starting gently at first, and picking up a bit of momentum. Moving, gliding easily across the water. Seeing some beautiful sights along the way. Now tune into all those senses again one more time, noticing what you see as your boat is moving noticing what you hear now and what you feel. You likely feel a bit more excitement or this this energy inside you of, of this movement and just how delightful it is to be able to go move toward where it is that you want to go. So feel that excitement and that happiness that satisfaction, pull it deep within your body, and when you're ready, take in a nice, very deep, energizing breath, and exhale, open your eyes when you're ready. So now you have the feeling of what it's like 
to have that momentum we've now moved into momentum the movement is happening and if it might seem like that's too simple well just wait and see I'll see you in the next episode of the Dr. Kyra Show Morning Edition. See you tomorrow morning. This podcast was produced by Dr. Kyra Messick. That's me. I'm an expert in holistic wellness. I've, that's because I've got over 20 years experience in learning and the things that I consider truly interesting. Herbalism, hypnotherapy, indigenous healing traditions, yoga, all that sort of thing. So if you'd like to learn more, pop on over to my website at drkyra.com. It's D-R-K-Y-R-A.com. You can learn about the books I have, other um, programs, and then you're going to want to make sure that you're on my email newsletter so that you don't miss out on any goodies. So again, that's drkyra.com, D-R-K-Y-R-A.com.